I've been working on some level design stuff for Axiom and I wanted to show it off. So to start in the right click menu, we now have some Axiom things. So we'll start with player spawn. And you can see it just creates, it's just an empty object that gets named and this component added to it. But wherever it's placed, the player will spawn. It has rotation and everything. Whatever you set up, it will sort out. Uh, next, I've been working on the, the creatures. So if I create a creature spawn, we'll see it has like this little uh, gizmo. Now the creature spawners are, are very inspired by Vertigo 2's sandbox, where you can place down creatures and then attach them all together with a, a group and then have different things spawn the group or spawn the individual creatures. In the Vertigo 2 sandbox, there's also overrides for the creature. So from what I understand, uh, every creature has data that can be overridden by the spawner. Uh, like in the game, you can set their allegiance, so you can make creatures friendly with a spawner, or you can make them attack the player when they normally wouldn't. So as you can see, I've placed down, what, like six? Uh, and now I, I can make a creature group. Now you notice that all of these are red. Uh, that's indicating that they're not set up properly. I can just give them a creature to spawn, and they will be fine. The group, on the other hand, isn't, uh, but I've created an editor tool where I can enter selection mode. As you see here, it says click on creature spawners in the scene to open to the list, this being the spawn list. So if I left click in the scene, not that you can see because I've managed to disable my cursor on the recording somehow, nothing happens. But if I click on the individual creature spawners, they get added to the list. And obviously this lights up green now that it is linked to them. On top of the list, the individual spawners also have reference to the group, just to make sure that two don't end up trying to be spawned by the same group. No so that two groups don't try and spawn the same creature. There was a lot of problems getting this sorted. A lot of the time in Unity, you'll just click on something that is already in your scene and duplicate it. But in doing that, it would also bring along the creature group reference, which was a problem. I've obviously sorted this now, but it, it was a problem initially. Uh, another problem I was having was if I tried to duplicate a creature group object, it would try and keep all the spawners, but none of the spawners knew that it had a reference to it and it was all messed up. So I had to make it so that when you duplicate a creature group, it closes its list. You'll also notice that the uh, the options disappear. That's because I've got some uh, extra attributes that I've created, but mostly stock from Unity forums. But as you can see, we have start trigger and script. Start being it will spawn and start. Trigger, it brings up a reference to a trigger. Script is script. These are all just linked to attributes in the way that appearing and disappearing. We have the same thing on the creature group here. You can see if I switch it to trigger, it's now waiting for a trigger. And that brings me to the last kind of tool thing I've made, which is a trigger. Uh, it is just a box collider, but we're not using on trigger entered. That's because I want to be able to have different detection types. So right now we just have head. It detects when the player's head enters the box. But I, in other projects, I've had this same script and used it for detecting when the player's hand is in an area, for example. There's very niche use cases for it, but it's handy to have anyway. It can also be um, expanded to detect things like enemies or projectiles or objects. It's used a lot in individual gameplay things. If I set this to trigger once, it will only trigger once, so it wouldn't spawn the creature group more than once. So I'm going to drag the trigger in, and it should now spawn me here, because the player spawns here. And when I walk past this green zone, or into it, it should pull spawn on the group and spawn all of these creatures that it's linked to. So you have to forgive the hands, I'm not actually in VR, I'm just using uh, our simulator thing we've got going. So as you can see there's no enemies here yet, and we did spawn in the right place, we spawned over here. So if I walk, I can't remember where I put it, I think it's just here, there you go, they all spawn in, they're all chasing me. Neither of us can do anything because I'm rewriting their code and I'm not in VR, so <laughs> there's no attacks that are going to happen. Um, I was kind of just something cool that I've been working on this morning and I wanted to, to show it off.